take a big step towards their ultimate aim in their penultimate home game. Victory over mid-table dwellers Sunderland will all but seal their place in the end-of-season playoffs. The visitors have only pride to play for, but Tuesday's performance at Leeds proved they're not on the beach just yet. They are determined to end the season with a flourish. This is Dean Garner for West Brom. Furlong. Now Fellows. Steps on the inside of Styles. Breaks here for Mullet. He'll hit it from range. Always rising. This one seemed to be a long way off. Some of the names linked. Paul Heckingbottom, formerly of Sheffield United. The current Sheffield Wednesday manager, Danny Rurl, has been mentioned as well. And not forgetting Will Still, who was linked with it last time, as uh, the shot is taken on by Chalabar. Patterson is there to parry and then play. Ran kindly for Chalabar, one touch to get it out of his feet. Towards goal, the spur long, saved by Patterson. Grounded. And it is going to be a card for the West Bromwich Albion striker. The ball had long since gone. And the time Thomas Asante got there. Furlong. Second yellow for the Albion striker, and a matter of minutes means red for Brandon Thomas Asante. Yeah, he was late and he was high. And he caught a piece of Dan Ballard and he knew what was coming his way. He ought to have known better, having just seen yellow a couple of moments before. Garner doing his defensive duty. But Sunderland have it back. Clark carrying by Dean Garner, and that will be a Sunderland corner. Well, vital now that West Bromwich Albion can get to half time at 0 0. Styles to deliver. And first half stoppage time. Ballard climbing, didn't get there, but Eckwood did, and what a finish that is! That is a stunner from Pierre Eckwood. Totally against the run of play. Oh, it's a lovely finish with the instep. It so so well. Steering it beyond the helpless Alex Palmer. John Swift and Jed Wallace are ready to come on. And I'd be amazed if Dean Garner wasn't one of those going off. Pembele into Bellingham, lovely flick into Rig.
teeing up Dan Neal, who guides it goals and Palmer tips it away, and Sunderland get the corner. Lovely move, this. Dan Neal coming onto it. It's a good height for Palmer, in truth. Just beats it away for a corner kick to Sunderland. In the second half, and we play 65 minutes. Darnell Furlong will hurl that throw into that penalty area. Thumped away by Ballard. Collected by Swift. It's John Swift, and it's just wide. Nice try. Just opened up nicely for him. Just to whip it into that far corner, and he misses by a whisker. Patterson at full stretch wasn't getting there, and the end didn't need to. on by Roberts, Styles, Clarks in the middle, Bellingham getting in there also, it's Styles. that looked mightily close, cutting in from the left, right-footed strike, just wide of that far post, Swift glances away only as far as Dan Neal. Ball out the target. Clark. Sunderland looking for another. Still with Clark. It's Jack Clark. It's into the side netting. Beat Palmer at that near post, but not succeeding. And Sunderland just trying to hold the ball in the corner. It is defeat for West Bromwich Albion. That is a blow to their hopes of sealing a playoff place. It all unraveled when Brandon Thomas Asante was sent off in the first half. And soon after, Sunderland went in front, courtesy of a fine strike from Pierre Pierre Equa. And West Bromwich Albion never recovered. Barely created anything in that second half. Sunderland were dogged, they dug in, and they leave here with maximum points. Only the fourth side to do so this season, and as a result, they do the league double over Albion for the first time since 98-99. And West Brom still with work to do in their hopes of clinching a playoff spot. Sunderland's players go over and applaud their travelling supporters, of which 2,000 have travelled down from Wearside. And they have witnessed their team win only their second game in 12. But after a hard-fought performance at another of the promotion chases at Midweek Leeds United, they've come here and beaten another team trying to get to the Premier League. Full-time 